All right, so the FBA roadmap, is it worth it? So I'm just gonna go right into it. My personal opinion on the FBA roadmap. So just being very transparent about it. So I am currently an online arbitrage seller and I've sold over $2 million on Amazon through the method of online arbitrage. There's a few different methods. There's for people that are new to this, there's wholesale, there's online arbitrage, and then there's uh, private label. For this course specifically, it is for online arbitrage, online arbitrage specifically. So this course is a pretty decent course overall. The only thing about it that I really, really want to emphasize is honestly, when you're looking to learn online arbitrage, there's a few different very good ways on how to learn without paying a ton of money. And for you, it might be worth it to pay the money. And we're going to be talking about that. So this course is very good and I think it's a very decent course and this is really an honest review. I'm not some random person on the internet trying to shove an affiliate link down your throat and going to make money off of you joining this course, right? I don't have that. I'm just giving my honest opinion because I really do care about like the making money online community, right? So we're just going to get right into it. Is the course good? Yes, the course is very good. The only problem that I've seen when people are buying the course or contemplating whether or not they should buy the course is they're spending all of their money on education and not enough money on actual product to run the business. Nobody wants to tell you this, but an Amazon business is an inventory based business. You need money to run an inventory based business or you need access to money to run an inventory based business. There's a lot of different costs that come with running this business. One right off the bat inventory lab. You pretty much, in my opinion, pretty much have to have inventory lab. There's some alternatives. I think inventory labs a lot better. Uh, inventory lab seller amp is optional and Keepa is really the go-to you have to have Keepa. So just based off of those two, right off the bat, Inventory Lab and Keepa, that's will run you about a hundred bucks a month, right? And then you might want some inexpensive repricer, maybe like Alpha Repricer or Be Cool. Um, I'm a somewhat fan of Be Cool. I think Be Cool is pretty decent. And uh, but there's all sorts of different repricers. You don't really, you don't even really have to get a repricer right off the bat, right? You don't have to have it. You could just do Inventory Lab and Keepa, and that runs you a hundred bucks a month. The other thing that you're going to be incurring is 40 bucks a month for being a pro Amazon seller, right? So a professional Amazon selling account. So right off the bat, even if you don't have like any other software, you're running at about 140 bucks a month in expenses coming out. I don't know about you guys, but when I started my business, I didn't have like any money. So 140 bucks a month coming out is like, well, this business is supposed to put money in my pocket, not take money out, right? So there's these expenses coming out and like the money wasn't coming in right away. So that was one huge problem too. And you're learning, so the learning curve is insane, right? Which hopefully a course would help you, you know, get past that learning curve. And I really think the FBA roadmap's a really great product. I think the owners of the FBA roadmap did a very great job making it, right? Uh, I think the only main thing that I personally see is people are buying the roadmap that can't afford it. So in my opinion, if you're going to buy the roadmap, you should have around three to $4,000 um, just in extra play money. Because if you're trying to start this business with $1,000, in my opinion, you have to spend the money on the basics like inventory lab, um, keep a, and then actually buying inventory. So that's like your first thousand. And then you don't have enough money to buy a $500 course, right? You don't have like an absorbent amount of money. So that's just my opinion. So I think it's a really good course. And if you have like say five, six, seven, eight, ten 10 grand sitting in the bank account, and you kind of want to shortcut your way into learning online arbitrage, that's one way to do it. But there's some really great ways to learn for free. Like, on this channel, I give out everything that I know about online arbitrage for free. Um, I have free Discord that you guys can join if you want to join. It's free. There's no like, oh, you join and I'm trying to like 
send you this way like it's just a free discord so if you want to ask questions or do it it's just free uh, there's tons of other free videos online like i honestly don't know um a, like <laughs> how do i put this i don't know why you would pay a ton of money for a course if you haven't bought the inventory uh because the inventory is what actually makes you money and learning and putting in those reps through what I like to teach is merchant fulfill. When you're first starting out on Amazon, you don't have that much money. Focus on merchant fulfill. You'll learn twice as fast and you'll get the data a lot faster to know if you're doing the right thing, right? So if you just focus on merchant fulfill, watch a bunch of free YouTube videos, um, you know, don't watch like too many because I think too much information is also a problem. And then join like some type of group. I'm in a ton of different paid groups. I find for me personally, I find that that to be the better route of just joining groups. I also do like courses. Like I, you know, I bought all sorts of different courses, right? I buy tons of different courses, but I've really found that being in a group of like-minded people is a lot more helpful than a lot of courses because you actually have somebody to hold you accountable. So basically what I'm getting at is I think like more of mentorship and joining courses and finding people that you know, you can sit down with every single night and source with or find profitable products with is a very good investment into yourself. And it really costs like no money. It costs signing up for an Instagram page and then posting a few pictures and then like adding, like you guys can even at me if you're on Instagram, you go, you can at me and then you can post pictures of your stuff that's going on. You say, oh, first shipment um, sent out, you know, at my name, I'll post it on my story. I don't, I don't care. You know, I'll just post it and then I'll say, you know, basically, uh, you know, great job on starting, right? F like follow this guy, right? And then you'll get people that will, that will like, I'm just, I'm just here <laughs> to help you guys make the decision that I wish I, <laughs> I would make made. Um, so basically, I know you guys clicked on this video for the roadmap. I think the roadmap's very good. Uh, I think it's for somebody that actually has a little bit of money to play around with, right? If you don't have a ton of money to play around with, then I think just watching YouTube videos about Keepa and then investing in inventory is a better investment. But uh, there's nothing wrong with buying some type of like course or whatever if you, if you want to do that. Um, a lot of the information is just free now because that's just the current... That's just how it is now. So you can pretty much learn everything you need to know off of like a ton of YouTube videos. And my advice is to like find somebody that's not insanely large that actually puts out, you know, decent numbers and then like ask them to mentor you. Um, yeah, <laughs> I think that's one of the best ways to learn or find somebody that's like at your level or maybe slightly behind you or ahead of you, right? And then just ask to, you know, sit down and have a chat with them and source with them and find products with them, right? And you'll have a lot more success doing that. So that's just my personal opinion. Hopefully this has helped. I want, wanted to give out an honest review because I, uh, I want to keep it simple and make it so you guys make, you know, you guys can make money, make good decisions. Right. So if I was starting with a thousand bucks, I would personally watch all the YouTube videos about Kiba and then find somebody that's like accessible, right? Not this, not the largest guy in social media, whatever. And then message them, find somebody that's like at my level, uh, like at, like if I'm starting out, like at beginning level, basically learn with them, learn the skills. <laughs> Learn how to learn how to um, you know do everything on Amazon, sell on Amazon, sell on whatever platform you're trying to sell on, right? For this instance, Amazon, and then yeah, I mean that's pretty much it. That's the format that's worked for me. That's why I'm sharing it with you guys. I wouldn't be sharing this if it didn't work. So thank you for watching. Really appreciate it. If you guys found value, you know what to do.